Namaste, everybody, and welcome to today's Facebook Live. Today is Global Yoga Nidra, and we're just about a minute or two early uh, signing on, and so wanted to make sure there would be no technological challenges as we begin the program today. So we're going to be waiting for uh, a few more people to arrive, and uh, while that's going on, uh, I'll just be uh, holding space for all of you. If you're out there and, and you're waiting for the Yoga Nidra to begin, uh, let me tell you that I'm going to be talking for about 10, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes before we actually begin the practice. And so uh, before we actually begin, I'm going to ask everybody several times to uh, use the restroom if you haven't already before we actually begin our practice today. So if you haven't done that already, okay? Just go right ahead. You don't want to get up in the middle of the practice and say, oh my gosh, I, I need to go because it'll change the whole energy of the practice for you. And thank you for those of you sharing your hearts with me. I see them on the screen and uh, they're very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, so again, go ahead and use the restroom if you haven't already done that. You do have some time. Uh, I'm going to be waiting for more people to arrive. And in, in just a couple of minutes, I'll begin a talk about Yoga Nidra. There's so much that is misunderstood about Yoga Nidra. And so it'll be a short talk because mainly today I want to practice. And, uh, you know, I'll let you know this right now. This is uh, something that actually was not announced at all. So it's only going to be available to you guys who are, are here. Wow, all those smileys and, and hearts, they're so much appreciated. So this is... Uh, an announcement for all of you. If you'd like to learn even more about Ayurveda, uh, most people don't know that I'm doing another Facebook Live later tonight, but it's not a practice. It'll be a much longer talk on Ayurveda. And it's being broadcast through the uh, Shivananda Yoga Retreat. And it's a uh, uh, through their website, so you or their Facebook page. And I'll be doing satsang there this evening as if I was in Paradise Island in the Bahamas, a place I'd much, uh, much appreciate being right now. Uh, so that'll be going on tonight, and that'll be at five o'clock tonight, okay? Pacific time is uh, uh, when that'll begin. Yeah, five o'clock tonight, uh, four o'clock, sorry. I'll, I'll get that organized in my head and I'll let you know in a little bit. Uh, it's about uh, uh, seven, I think it's about 8.30. Yeah, 8.30 is when it'll actually begin on the East Coast. That'll be this evening at 8.30. So if you're just joining us, I want you to go ahead and use the restroom if you haven't used the restroom already. Just waiting for, for everybody to arrive into the room. Uh, just as if we were doing Yoga Nidra, we wouldn't want people to be walking in in the middle and trying to, uh, to come on in. So everybody can come on in the room. We're gonna just enjoy a couple of tea for a moment. And then I'll get started with the actual practice of Yoga Nidra and I'll talk about it. And for those of you that don't have to go to the restroom and you're staring at the screen, looking at me thinking, uh, is there anything else that, that I could be doing right now? One of the things you could be doing right now is you could be thinking about what it is that you want to create. And that's called your sankalpa. And I'm going to talk more about that, but you could be starting to think about that. You could be thinking about what do I want to create in my life? What do I want to create in terms of my wellness and my health? And I'll talk about that a little bit as well. There's a lot that's not fully appreciated about the concept of sankalpa. So I'll say a few words about sankalpa before we begin. But that's an important part of the yoga nidra practice. Now, if you're just arriving in the room and you have not heard me uh, yet say this, then I'm going to say this to you now. Please go ahead and use the restroom. Don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. I'm not going to start the practice till 10 minutes after I formally start talking. I haven't even formally started talking yet. I really want to give you time to go use the restroom. I also want to give you time to make sure you have the things you need for Yoga Nidra today. You could be thinking about that too. What do you need for Yoga Nidra? You are going to need a pillow and a comfortable space. It could be on a, a floor. It could be on a bed. It's okay. You will want to be laying down in a comfortable place. Uh, and uh, a place where right now you can be looking at me, but then there's going to be an opportunity for you to then go to your space and get yourself all comfortable and, and uh, all set up. And so I'll be starting to uh, talk in about another minute about Yoga Nidra formally, but before I do, 
I want to make sure that you all have had an opportunity to go to the bathroom and I uh, really just so that you're comfortable. The last thing that you want to be doing in Yoga Nidra while you're entering into another state of consciousness is to be saying to yourself, gee, should I be getting up right now and going to the bathroom? You don't really want to do that. That's not such a great idea. Okay, so this way you can completely relax and sink into the practice. And, uh, and that will be a beautiful uh, experience for you. All right, so I'm going to begin now. Uh, don't worry if you're still not here, you know, you're hearing me in the background right now, you're trying to get yourself all set up. It's okay, no problem. I'm not going to actually start the practice for uh, a little bit till after I talk. All right, so you can just relax. There's nowhere you need to go and there's nothing you need to do for a while. This time's for you. All right. So I'm going to chant OM together, or I'm going to chant OM. You can join me if you would like to chant uh, with me at home just to begin to settle the energy while we're all together. I'm going to chant the Mahamritan Jaya Mantra. This is a mantra to let go of all attachments. Om Trembakam Yajamahe Sugantim Pushti Vartanam Urva Rukami Vavantanam Gritya Mokshya Mam Rutat Om Trembakam Yajamahe Sugantim Pushti Vartanam Urva Rukami Vabantanam Brityo Mukshya Mam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugantim Pushti Vartanam Urva Rukami Vabantanam Brityo Mukshya Mam Rutat Om Shanti Shanti Om Namah Shivaya. So welcome everybody to Global CCA Yoga Nidra. Let me talk a little bit about what Yoga Nidra is, is everybody is still getting themselves set up. Now, you're here, you've heard of Yoga Nidra maybe before today. Maybe there's always a few people that haven't. A lot of people misunderstand Yoga Nidra. First misunderstanding that a lot of people have is that they think that Yoga Nidra is for the purposes of relaxation. When in fact, Yoga Nidra is, is or when in fact we could say that relaxation is a side effect of the practice of yoga nidra. It's not the purpose of yoga nidra. We do get ourselves into a very, very relaxed uh, state of mind and state of consciousness. So if yoga nidra is not about relaxation, what is it really about? What yoga nidra is about is conscious creation. That's the part that's not so much understood by a lot of people. Yoga Nidra is a traditional practice first talked about in the Puranas, which are the uh, ancient storytelling texts that are, you know, thousands of years old. And these stories have been told for thousands of years to help people to understand the deeper truths. And these stories are held within these 18 sacred texts called the Puranas. And Yoga Nidra is also mentioned in Devi Bhagavat. It's also mentioned in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. Many, many ancient texts mention this sacred practice. So what is it? It's a practice of creation. In fact, the original story is about how Lord Vishnu created the universe that we are all experiencing right now. And we are all a part of Lord Vishnu's dream in the most traditional of the stories. And I'll tell that story uh, this evening at the satsang for those of you that attended. So, that's what Yoga Nidra is traditionally about. It's about conscious creation. Whereas Lord Vishnu created all of creation, all the universe, we each create our own lives. 
each and every one of us have the power and the capacity to create our own experience. We do it according to yoga as a reflection of our consciousness. In other words, to keep it simple, we could say that the experience of life that we have is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. Most of us think that we are perhaps just a consequence of what's going on around us. But yoga says, no, that's not true. We have tremendous control over the life that we are going to live. And it's every facet of life, from our economic life to our health, to our relationships, all of these things to, to the largest degree, we influence, we influence them. And so that's the practice of yoga nidra. It's a way of consciously engaging your life so that you can create the life that you want to have. Now, the focus of my work has been on creating uh, optimal health and peace of mind. And I've worked within the yoga field now for 30 years in order to uh, help other people to do that. My own journey as well has been going on in the world of yoga since about 1987. And so I've been working for a long time to help people to transform their lives, whether it's through yoga, whether it's through chiropractic, whether it's through Ayurvedic medicine, all of these ways, including yoga nidra. In fact, yoga nidra was a very important part of my own journey. Uh, those of you that have read my book, Healing Your Life, you know that I was crippled back in 1987. And that really started me on a tremendous journey for self-healing and self-discovery. And it led me eventually to the practice of yoga nidra shortly thereafter. And I needed yoga nidra not only to help my body to heal, but I needed it because I wasn't sleeping. I didn't sleep for about seven years from 1987 to 1994. Oh, I slept a little bit, of course, but I didn't sleep very well. Maybe I got an hour of sleep at night. Some nights I didn't sleep at all. I relied upon yoga nidra as the primary form of rest for my body and my mind and my, my spirit. I would practice for an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon, and an hour in the evening. And some evenings I would spend several hours in the state of yoga nidra, never actually falling asleep. So yoga nidra is a deep conscious state of relaxation in which we don't sleep. In fact, a lot of people today are trying to use yoga nidra to go to sleep. That always makes me smile and laugh. Uh, and maybe a little bit, a tear comes down too, because it means there's a misunderstanding. Yoga nidra is, is not for sleep. Yoga nidra is for being awake and aware and a conscious creator of the experience of reality. Now, it's true that people who are exhausted when they go into yoga nidra will probably fall asleep. And so it's true that a lot of people practicing yoga nidra fall asleep and that's not unusual. And don't worry if that happens to you, at least you got yourself a good rest. But if you want to motivate the forces of the universe to go to work for you to create the world that you're trying to create, then you have to stay awake and you have to stay aware and you have to engage your sankalpa. Let's talk about your sankalpa. So your sankalpa is that which you want to create. That's what your sankalpa is. A lot of people use the word intention, but you know, that's a, it's trying to translate a very, very profound philosophy that um, comes from the Sanskrit language. So the word intention to me is not really good enough. I like a description once I saw from Swami Shivananda, who said that sankalpa is the reality that you project out into the world through your third eye, okay? So in other words, it is the projection. It's the projection that you're creating of the world that you want to inhabit, that you want to experience. And each of us does live in our own world to some degree. We share a global world, of course, we all have our own unique experience. And so your sankalpa is a way of engaging your own unique experience. And so in yoga nidra, you have the opportunity to begin to visualize that which you want to experience. You get to visualize that which you want to experience. What do you want to experience? Most of my work has been around self-healing. And so many of my patients have experienced or have uh, visualized, for instance, uh, getting over uh, pain. Maybe they have back pain or knee pain or neck pain. 
and they see themselves without that pain walking around and acting in the world. Others have had cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's disease, and they see themselves acting in the world, but without that disease. They see themselves going through everyday activities without the limitations that are created by the disease. When you see yourself the way you want to be, that is performing a sankalpa. That is motivating the subtle forces of the universe to go to work on your behalf. That's what we're doing in Yoga Nidra. The subtle forces called tatwas, these are the subtlest elements. And you engage them in the universe and then they organize and they crystallize into the physical world, become what we call the bhutus, the mahabhutus, the five elements that then build the world that we live in, or they build your experience of the world on a physical and a psychological level. And so everything exists actually in the subtlest realms before we experience it in the physical world, right? A, a sheet of music, somebody has to, has to tune in to some deep place within themselves and that music already exists and then it becomes physical. A business exists in somebody's mind or heart before it exists in the physical world. This is a way of engaging the heart. It really is the heart. It's not even the mind. It's engaging the heart because the heart is the seat of consciousness. And when we engage the heart, we motivate those forces of the universe and they manifest in the subtle world and the gross world, where we could say in the mind and in the body. And that's how Yoga Nidra works. There's a lot of studies on Yoga Nidra. Those of you that study to become Yoga Nidra teachers, you'll study all the science behind it. You'll study all the philosophy behind it. You'll study all of the stories behind it and the teachings of great masters over time. This is what you will study one day if you decide you want to go down that road. But today, today we're going to engage the practice of Yoga Nidra on a global level. And this is a unprecedented time in history, isn't it? I mean, the whole world together is going through a crisis. And we have this virus that has spread all over the world. There's really nowhere in the world that it has not touched. And so everybody in the world right now is engaged in wanting to be well and wanting to have peace of mind because this is, these are anxious times for everybody. Yoga Nidra offers you the opportunity to restore your physiology, which means you'll be relaxed. To restore your physiology also means to restore your immune system. And so Yoga Nidra has the opportunity here, this practice, if you engage it regularly to keep your immune system strong, to give you a deep rest, and to keep you healthy during this, this, this crisis that the world seems to be going through. And I just want to say to you before we practice, I'm deeply honored that that you've all chosen to spend some time today with our community and that you are engaging with me and together the practice of, of Yoga Nidra. And this is an ancient sacred practice and let us let us come together at the heart. We may be we may be thousands of miles away right now, uh, but our hearts transcend time and they transcend distance. They transcend space. And so really at the heart right now, we are all together and we are all one. What I'd like to ask you to do right now to go ahead and make yourself comfortable. You don't have to look at your computer anymore, but keep it on or your, your phone, keep it on so you can hear me. And go ahead now and lay down wherever you are, or if you're having a hard time laying down, you can do this in an easy chair recliner. All right, go ahead and lay down and just go ahead and relax. And you're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna use whatever props you need to to make yourself comfortable and just settle down. And I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes now to do that. You're all moving around right now, wherever you are, and uh, you're just getting yourself comfortable. Make sure that you Maybe you have a blanket on top of you. Um, uh, you know, you're just getting comfortable. If you didn't go to the bathroom, this is your last chance. You know, you got to go do that too so that you don't get up in the middle of the practice and you're not wondering if you should get up in the middle of the practice. Okay. 
So everybody is uh, come together. And while you're all coming together, I'll just say hello to a few of the people whose names I see on the on the screen in front of me. So I want to say hello to uh, uh, Jill Weston, who is a CCA Yoga Nidra teacher, and uh, as well. And so welcome, uh, Jill Diego. Welcome to uh, uh, Yoga Nidra today. Sandhya, uh, a CCA uh, teacher, uh, is here. Lakshman Das, another CCA teacher. Uh, Cynthia Gallas, welcome. And I know there are so many others of you out there. Uh, according to my screen, it's in the uh, several hundreds. So I'm very uh, honored that you are uh, all here with us today. And I kind of imagine that we are all together in a grand hall laying down and uh, on your yoga mats right now. And you've gotten yourself comfortable. Uh, you're doing any last minute wiggling and squiggling that you feel you need to do in order to get ready. And uh, in just a moment, I'm going to chant the mantra. And during that mantra, you can make your final uh, adjustments. Uh, but I know that, that you may still be getting yourself ready. I want to make sure you're using a, um, a pillow. Pillow would be really a great idea under your head. You know, the very back of your head has a very uh, pointed spot. And that part in the back of your head, if it's not uh, nice and uh, soft underneath it, it'll become all consuming to you during the practice. So rather than that, you will be much better off if you can to use uh, uh, to use the um, pillow underneath you. Welcome, uh, Cheryl and Terry, and uh, breathing space. I, I imagine that's your 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 business name, but uh, what a beautiful uh, physical name as well, breathing space. And so, welcome to uh, today's practice, Rebecca. Welcome as well. And uh, we're just about to begin. So get yourself settled in. Get yourself comfortable and uh, just relax. Remember, there's nowhere you need to go and nothing you need to do for a while. This is your time. It's sacred time for you to go within. So many of you are typing in thank you. I don't know how you're typing while getting yourself ready for Yoga Nidra, but I, uh, I appreciate your hearts. I appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate your, your smiling faces. I can visualize them all there. I'm very touched. So please get yourself all ready and settle down. We're about a minute away from actually beginning the practice today. I well, well, well we're just waiting to begin. I can say one more or two more words. Welcome, Jean, another CCA Yoga Nidra teacher. Um, you know, there's many styles of Yoga Nidra that are out there in the world. And CCA Yoga Nidra is a unique style. And so it may be different for some of you than uh, other styles you've practiced in the past. Don't let that get in your way. Just go ahead and enjoy it. I want to tell you that Yoga Nidra is not a technique. Yoga Nidra is not a methodology. Yoga Nidra is a state of consciousness. And there are many paths to get to that state of consciousness. That's why you see so many different approaches to Yoga Nidra today. What matters is whether or not you've arrived at that state of yoga nidra through the practice. So if I do things today that are going to be different from another style of yoga nidra you've practiced today, rather than get caught up in the drama of that, just allow yourself to, to let it go and, and just follow my words and follow my guidance and let's see where it takes you. Um, and, and that will be your experience today. I also want to let you know that every day you'll have a different experience when you practice yoga nidra because each day you're a little bit different. As you practice yoga nidra day after day, you go deeper and deeper into who you are as an individual. Yoga nidra is a practice physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and you'll peel off layer after layer as you get to know yourself. During the practice of yoga nidra, if at any time you feel uncomfortable, I want you to remember two things. The first is yoga nidra cannot hurt you. So you can surrender and trust and know that you're going to be okay. And the second is that if you're having any sort of emotions come up during the practice of yoga nidra today, just be the witness of those emotions. The same thing with any kind of physical discomfort, especially those small ones like those itches on your forehead and your nose and, and, and wanting to just rub for a second. 
these are transient and they will go away. All right. I want you to be the witness of the distractions, but also a witness of your own emotions. I want you to let it flow and let it go. Even if you're there sobbing and crying during the practice, be the witness of yourself sobbing and crying. And try not to get too caught up in the experience of it and know that you are not your body. You are not your mind. You're not your emotions. In the practice of yoga nidra, we're going to attempt to tap into something beyond the body, beyond the mind. We're going to tap into the witness. And the witness is the bridge between the mind and consciousness. So let us go ahead now and begin. This is a mantra for removing obstacles that is traditional in the Shivananda tradition. Om Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapita Jambu Pala Sarabhakshita Om Asutam Shokavanasha Karanam Namami Vigneshara Pata Pankajam Shadananam Kum Kumarak Devarnam Mahamatim Divimeur Vahanam Rudrasha Sanam Surya Sanye Natam Guham Sarham Charanam Kapati Ya kudendu tu shahara hara davala ya shu grabashtra vita ya dina varandanda mandita kara ya shweta parmasana ya brahma shuta shankara pavitta vir deva sada pujita saman patu saraswati bhagavati nishesho jadiha om namah shivaya gurave satchita mandamurtaye nish prapanchaya Shri Shiva Nandaya Tina Maha, Shri Vishnu Deva Nandaya Tina Maha, Om Sava Mangala Mangalye, Shiva Savarta Sarke, Charanye Triambake Gauri, Narayani Namostite, Narayani Namostite, Om Sahana Bhavatu, Sahano Bunatu, Sahaviriam Karma. Jasdina Vadi Tamas to Ma Vibisha Vahai Om Shanti 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 Om Pi 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 Balasa Guru Shishmananda Maharaj Ki so go ahead now and take a full deep breath in. Go ahead and fill up your abdomen and your lungs with air. Fill it all the way up and let it out with a sigh and say, ah. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Fill up your abdomen and your lungs with air. Fill it all the way up and let it out with a sigh. Ah, beautiful. Now just allow yourself to completely relax. And now we're going to do what I call a minor sankalpa. And we're all going to simply make the intention to stay awake and aware throughout the practice. We'll do our major sankalpa during the practice, toward the end of the practice in the state of yoga nidra. So right now what I'd like you to do is go ahead and say out loud where you are at home, I will remain awake and aware. One more time. I will remain awake and aware. A hundred percent present, a hundred percent of the time. Beautiful. Very good. And now just allow yourself to completely settle down. There's nowhere you need to go and nothing you need to do for a while. Now go ahead and bring your awareness to your right hand. And just notice your right hand and notice what you're touching. Now bring your awareness to your right thumb. 
and notice your right thumb and notice whether it's suspended in the air or whether it's touching anything. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in your right thumb. And let gravity take your thumb wherever gravity wants it to be. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And now in your mind's eye, go ahead and say hello to the other four fingers of your right hand. And as you say hello to each finger, let go of any holding, control, or tension in each of those four fingers. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into serenity. Letting go. Now go ahead and bring your attention to the palm of your right hand. Notice the part of your palm that's closest to your thumb. And notice the part that's closest to your little finger. With your mind's eye, explore the palm. See if you can find any areas of holding. Control or tension and let it go. Holding, control, and tension are just blockages that have flow of prana, life energy. Let it flow and allow the prana to flow freely. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And now bring your awareness to your right wrist and notice the part of your wrist that's closest to the ground and notice the part that's closest to the ceiling. With your mind's eye, look all around and inside your wrist. Let go of any holding, control or tension. And as you do, your palm, your thumb and your four fingers surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your right elbow. Notice the part of your elbow that's closest to the ground and notice the part that is closest to the ceiling. With your mind's eye, look all around and inside your elbow, all the small muscle attachments let go of any holding, control, or tension. And as you do, your forearm, your wrist, your palm, and your fingers surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your left hand and notice the sensation of your left hand against the surface below you. And now bring your awareness to your left thumb. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in your left thumb. Let gravity take your thumb wherever gravity wants it to be. Letting go, letting go. Letting go. And now with your mind's eye, say hello to the other four fingers of your left hand. As you do, let go of any holding, control, or tension in each of the four fingers and go deeper with it. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go. All the while remaining awake and aware. Awake and aware. A hundred percent present, a hundred percent of the time. Letting go. And now bring your awareness to the palm of your left hand. Notice the part of your palm that's closest to your thumb. And notice the part that's closest to your little finger. With your mind's eye, look all around your palm for any areas of holding, 
control their tension and let it go. As you do, your thumb and your four fingers surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender. Letting go. And now bring your awareness to your left wrist. Notice the part of your wrist that's closest to the ceiling and notice the part that's closest to the ground. With your mind's eye, look all around your wrist. Let go of any areas of holding, control or tension. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender. Letting go. Now bring your awareness to your left elbow and notice the sensation of your left elbow against the surface below you. And notice the part of your elbow that's closest to the ceiling. With your mind's eye, look all around at the small muscle attachments around your elbow. Let go of any holding, control or tension all around your elbow. As you do, the forearm, your wrist, your palm and your fingers surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Awake and aware. Awake and aware. Now bring your awareness to the back of both of your shoulders and just notice the sensation of your shoulders against the surface below you. Let go of any holding, control or tension in the back of your shoulders. And as you do, your arms become heavier and sink into the surface below you. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness into the pits of your arms. Notice the four walls of your armpits. Notice the part that's closest to your chest and the part that's closest to your arm. Notice the part that's closest to your back and the part that's closest to the front. Let go of any holding, control or tension in the pits of your arms. And as you do, your arms surrender even more Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. So that your arms are now like two branches of a tree. It's as if they had fallen to the ground and were no longer attached. They lay by your side still and at peace. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness down to the soles of your feet and notice the soles on both feet. Let go of any holding control or tension in the soles of both of your feet. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now with your mind's eye, say hello to each of your 10 toes and let go of any holding, control or tension in each of the 10 toes on both feet. Going deeper into relaxation, Deeper into surrender. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to the heels and the ankles on both feet. 
Let go of any holding, control, or tension in both of your ankles. Allow gravity to take your feet wherever gravity wants them to be. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your knees. Notice the back of both of your knees. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in the back of both of your knees. And as you do, your calves, your ankles, the soles of your feet, and your toes surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to the top of your knees and notice your kneecaps. Notice the part of your kneecap that's closest to your shin and notice the part that's closest to your thigh. Let go of any holding, control or tension in your kneecaps. And go deeper within, deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender. Letting go. And now bring your awareness to the top of your thighs. Just notice the top of your thighs on both legs. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in the top of your thighs. And go deeper within. Deeper into relaxation. Deeper into surrender. Letting go. Now bring your awareness to the inside of your thighs and notice the part of your thighs between your knee and your pubic bone. Let go of any holding, control, or tension on the insides of your thighs. And go deeper within. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to the back of your thighs between your knee and your buttocks. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in the back of your thighs. Allow your legs to become heavier and to sink into the surface below you. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper into relaxation, deeper into surrender. Letting go. Now bring your awareness to your buttocks and notice the sensation of your buttocks against the surface below you. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in your buttocks. And as you do, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, and the soles of your feet surrender even more. Letting go, letting go, letting go. So that your legs are now like two more branches of a tree that have fallen to the ground. As if they were no longer attached, they lay by your side still and at peace. Letting go. All the while, remaining awake and aware. Awake and aware. A hundred percent present, a hundred percent of the time. Letting go. Now bring your awareness to your lower back. And with your mind's eye, explore your lower back and all the muscles around the vertebrae of your lower back. Look of any holding, control, or tension in your lower back. Allow prana, life energy, to flow into the tissues of your lower back, into the discs and the vertebrae, bringing healing wherever healing is needed. Letting go, letting go, letting go.
Now bring your awareness to your pelvis. Notice the sensation of your clothing against your skin or the weight of the blanket on top of you. Now bring your awareness below the skin to the muscles. Now bring your awareness below the muscles to the inside of your pelvis and look around. See if you can find any areas of holding, control, or tension. You don't have to know the anatomy. Just look around for the holding and let it go. Allow prana to flow freely into all the organs and tissues of your pelvis as you go deeper within. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go. And now bring your awareness to your abdomen and become aware of your abdomen and the sensation of the clothing against your skin, the weight of the blanket against your body. Bring your awareness deeper still, become aware of the muscles. Go deeper still inside your abdomen and look around at all the organs and tissues. Again, you don't have to know the anatomy. Just look all around your abdomen for any areas of holding, control, or tension. And let it go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. All the while, remaining awake. And aware, awake, and aware. And now bring your awareness to your upper back. Look of any holding, control, or tension between your shoulder blades. Allow prana to flow freely. Letting go. Letting go, letting go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go, letting go, letting go. That your whole body now is sinking into the surface below you. Letting go. Now bring your awareness to your chest and notice the sensation of your clothing against your chest. Now become aware of the skin and the soft tissue of the breast below the skin. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in the soft tissue of the breast. Allow prana to flow freely, letting go. Letting go, letting go. And now bring your awareness deeper still to the ribs and the muscles between the ribs. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in the muscles between your ribs and go deeper within. Letting go, letting go. Letting go. And now bring your awareness into the hollow of the lungs. Let go of any holding, control, or tension deep inside your lungs. Allow prana to flow freely, invigorating the tissues of your lungs and your bronchi, protecting them, giving them strength, and letting go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go. And now bring your awareness to the very center of your heart. 
very center of your chest. Become aware of your physical heart. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in your physical heart. Allow prana to flow freely through all the small vessels of your heart, invigorating every cell of your heart. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your emotional heart, a little more subtle. Allow prana to flow freely through your emotional heart. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And now bring your awareness to your spiritual heart. Look of any holding, control, or tension in your spiritual heart. Visualize the divine love of all of existence flowing from the heart of creation down into your heart and let it fill your heart with divine love. Let your heart be full of love. Just as water is poured into a cup, allow that heart to allow the love to fill up your heart and let it overflow from your heart. And let it circulate down your arms to your fingertips and down your legs to your toes. And let it fill you up all the way to the hairs on your head. So that every cell of your body is bathed in love. Allow that love to enter inside of every cell. Let every cell of your body know that it is loved. And it is love. Now bring your awareness to the back of your neck. Look of any holding, control, or tension in the back of your Explore the front of your neck as well. And let go of any holding, control, or tension in the front of your neck. Allow gravity to take your head wherever gravity wants it to be. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your lips. Notice your lower lip. Notice your upper lip. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in your lips. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your jaw. Look of any holding, control, or tension in your jaw. As you do, allow gravity to take your lower jaw and slightly separate your teeth. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Now bring your awareness to your eyes. Allow your eyelids to become so heavy that you could not open them even if you were to try. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And bringing your awareness deep inside the sockets of your eyes. Let go of any holding, control, or tension in all the small structures within your eyes allowing prana to flow freely into all those tissues. Letting go, letting go, letting go. So that all expression has been removed from your face. Your face is beautiful, peaceful, and serene. Letting go.
Now bring your awareness to the crown of your head and let go of any holding, control, or tension in the crown of your head. Allow the divine light of pure existence to flow from above down and to enter in through the crown of your head. Allow that light to flow all the way to your fingertips and all the way to your toes so that every cell of your body is surrounded by the divine light of pure existence. Allow that light to enter every cell. Allow every cell to radiate the pure light of creation. Allow every cell to remember its true nature as spirit. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into awareness. Letting go. All the while, remaining awake and aware. Awake and aware. A hundred percent present. The pure light of existence. And now in your mind's eye, expand your awareness to include your entire subtle body from your head all the way on down to your toes. And see if you can go ahead and double the level of relaxation of your entire body. It's as if you're going to peel off another layer of holding, control, or tension. As if you were like an onion, peeling off layer after layer until you get to the center and all that exists is a body of light. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Go ahead and peel off one more layer of the onion and go deeper still. Letting go of all the remaining holding, control, or tension. As we do, prana flows freely through the entire body. Letting go. Awake and aware. Awake and aware. Now with your mind's eye, bring your awareness to any part of your body that is in need of healing. And examine that part of your body in your mind's eye. See if you can find any remaining holding, control, or tension. Allow the prana to flow freely into that tissue, bringing healing where healing is needed. Awake and aware, awake and aware. And now we've entered into the state of consciousness known as Yoga Nidra. And from here, 
what I would like you to do now is to engage your sankalpa and begin to see yourself as you would like to be. See yourself strong during these difficult times. Maybe see yourself well, resisting this crisis that we're experiencing. Or if you're suffering from a particular condition, see yourself without that condition. See yourself walking around the world without that limitation. You want to see this in your mind and you want to perform any activities that limit you right now. See yourself doing that. If you were in bed crippled like I was, you might see yourself going for a jog and feeling your feet hit the ground. You might see yourself as invincible to this virus with a strong immune system. There is really no limits except the laws of nature. You can see yourself having healed physically or emotionally, psychologically. And you see yourself in this world as you would like to be. Take some time now to just see yourself successful in the world, being the person you want to create. Awake and aware, awake and aware. the witness of your own experience. Seeing yourself as you would like to be. able to perform any activity that limits you. Strong and resistant to this virus. Now what I'd like you to do is to take that vision of yourself and turn it over to the divine in whatever form you connect to God or the divine. You can turn it over to the universe, to Krishna, to your guru, to Jesus. Turn it over to the divine in the form that you relate to the divine. And know that the divine is going to help you to manifest that vision of yourself. And now what I'd like you to do, having let go of that vision, is just enjoy the state of peacefulness, the state of emptiness or shunya, that is yoga nidra. Not this body, not this mind. Not this body, 
not this mind. Consciousness and joy incarnate, bliss of the blissful am I. Not this body, not this mind. Awake and aware. Awake and aware. And now I'm going to slowly count backwards from 10 down to zero. It'll be very slow. And even after the practice is complete, there's nowhere you'll need to go and nothing you'll need to do for a while. You're going to have plenty of time to reintegrate. 10, remembering your true nature as spirit. Nine, knowing that every cell of your body is surrounded in love and love is inside of every cell. Every cell is love. Every cell is love. Seven, knowing that prana is flowing freely through your body right now, bringing healing wherever healing is needed. Six, knowing that the healing that's taking place right now will continue even after this practice has ended. Five, knowing that you can return to the state of yoga nidra at any time. Four, not this body, not this mind, not this body, not this mind. Three, consciousness and joy incarnate, bliss of the blissful. Am I? Two, healing love, healing light. Healing love, healing light. And one, I'm going to say a closing blessing. 
This is from the Shivananda tradition. O adorable Lord of mercy and love, salutations and prostrations unto thee. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. Thou art Satchitananda. Thou art existence, knowledge, and bliss absolute. Thou art the indweller of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, balanced mind, faith, devotion, and wisdom. Grant us the inner spiritual strength to resist temptation and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, anger, greed, hatred, and jealousy. Fill our hearts with divine virtues. Let us behold thee in all these names and forms. Let us serve thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember thee. And let us ever sing thy glories. Let thy name be ever on our lips. And let us abide in thee forever and ever. Zero. Gently wiggling your fingers. And gently wiggling your toes. And gently licking your lips. Knowing that there's nowhere you need to go. And nothing you need to do for a while. You can feel welcome to take as much time as you'd like now. I'm going to chant Om three times. Many blessings to all of you on your continued journey. You can go to the Shivananda Yoga Retreat, their Facebook page tonight, and I'll be talking there, telling more of my story and giving about a one hour talk. You can leave me a message in the group and I'll give you further instructions. If you wanna practice, you'll be able to replay this video on the college's Facebook page as well as our group page. And you can also download a CD or recording an MP3, Yoga Nidra and Self-Healing that I made. You can download that from Amazon or iTunes. Many blessings to you on your continued healing journey. May your heart know peace. May your mind know peace. May your body no peace. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.